Hey guys, um, I decided <coughs> to make a Fantasy Star Online 2 little video. Um, basically, if you haven't played this game, this game's been out for a long time, but um, <coughs> hasn't been able to come to the the West, North America, Europe, because, I don't know, Sega, there's Sega, and they just... <clears throat> won't release it. They did release the English version, but Sear only that folded um, recently. Um, but the Japanese version is still around, still very playable, and you can get the English patch for it. Um, and <clears throat> so far, I played it like a long, long time ago, and I sort of just went off it and then went onto a different MMO, like with friends and stuff. And the lag at the time was sort of pissing us off as well, so. Um, well, I decided to take it up and just retry it, and, and basically I'll just take it for a quick run through. So if you're ever interested in playing Fantasy Star Online too, um, you'll have a little bit more of an insight into the game. Anyway, so you come here, which is actually you can just Google um, um, PSO2 um, English, and <clears throat> you'll eventually just little dummy, and that's what I did here. Just ignore that and then just go to the second one down and this is, this is here and this is the English installation blah 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 but re you, it's like self installing now so like at one time you used to have to like um, install different sections and, and it, was, it was a fucking nightmare but like it's a lot easier now anyway you just basically download the tweaker which is here uh, <coughs> The setup file or the exe to really matter. Um, and basically, you just download. It takes a long time because obviously you, you're downloading from Jap Japan, so it is. It does take a long time to install it. Uh, to download it, sorry, um, <clears throat> and uh, get it working. But once you've got this, anyway, you put your monitor on your desktop and you get this. Okay. Um, now this is. Um, the tweaker you've got your PSO to settings so you can like change your resolution and if you look I have mine set here though I would like to be able to make this bigger I've heard there is a way of making the text size and the UI a little bit bigger but I've never really looked into it um, you have your plug-in settings tweak your sentence modifications but what you want to do when you get this it'll see all systems ready when it's all fully installed and downloaded <coughs> excuse me and then top left button Install English patch. Put the English patch on. When the English patch is on, try and run it. If you have a troubleshooting problem, or if this, um, because the first time it didn't run for me, what I had to do was I had to go down to troubleshooting, and I had to, um, where is it, fix game guard errors there. Fix game guard errors, I guarantee you, it'll fix it, and I'll run it after that. So basically, <clears throat> play. <clears throat> and um, I'll show you. A little bit of the game. That's your game guard there, just popping. <clears throat> Hopefully it isn't too loud because I haven't checked the sound or anything before recording this. Just skip this part, because you'll get like an introduction and more kind of rubbish. Read the terms, you got your login. Always go to ship two. I always find it the best. Um, authentication. And then you go to your character select, you can watch support, friends invitation. Just go to character select. The, the select is the select screen is like huge. Like, you'd be surprised how many functions it's got and how many different classes and it is it's really in depth for um the character creation but anyway i'll just go on to me gunner i'm actually in the process of leveling hunter and gun out the match because i i quite like gunner hunter because you can have an off class as well as a main class in this game um and i don't think you're hindered by anything when you like in final fantasy your off class is always half your level of your main class it's different on uh, Fantasy Star Online too. I think there's no real um, other than a stat squash. I think I'm not really sure. Other than that, um, 
nothing really changes. So you'll come into the st you'll start here anyway in the main lobby room. Um, and Affin here always starts with the quests. Um, basically, you press E and then you go client orders. And basically, you can have up to 20 client orders at any one time. You press Enter and you basically just pick what you want to do. I have like there, for example, Dragons and Darkers. These are the ones that are done, that are grayed out. Dragons and Darkers, yes. Complete Kargoth experimentation. Extermination, sorry. Um, so basically, you have to go there. And kill a dragon called Kargot. I would imagine, or something like that anyway, and, you know, and, um, and then hand it in. You have a shit ton of, um, of uh, quests. These seem to be, like, hard ones, like hard client orders, and, like, uh, like dailies and things. And if you look, like, they give really good XP. Like, very good. But they also go up and level a lot, like, that's 41+, plus, 41+, plus, 60+, plus, blah, blah, blah. Um... This guy over here gives you a lot of uh, information and intro quests. I'd advise you to do Hans's quests. This here is your storage. So you can basically deposit all your items, withdraw your items. Um, this here is your gathering, player shops, crafting. As you can see, it's all in English. <clears throat> Obviously, not every single thing is in English, but like most of it is actually translated. It's, it's amazing the work they've did on this game to do it like. Um, this is your main hub for quests, so basically, coffee here always has your stuff for you. Like, mag license, that's the shoulder-mounted, like, robot that follows you around and you can level that up. It's like a pet. Um, sub palette, that extends your sub palette. Um, see, see how that there is some still in Japanese on the bottom there, but, like, a lot of it isn't. Like, level cap trial, you have to do your level cap trial and deliver these three sort of things. So, like... If, say, um, like, for example, this sub palette quest here, it's asking us to get to deliver Spartan Ear Parts A. Okay, so basically you'll you'll get that, and then you'll go to this one here, and you'll, have, you'll look for Spartan Ear Parts A. So basically you can select quest from the list. Uh, you've got Features Quest, Arcs Quests. So basically it'll probably be an Arcs. And then you have to find... There, see that? So, the Mech Power Severe Desert. It's 18 plus, And if you look at the top right, all the enemy info is Spartan A. So, basically, you have to go there, get them drops, bring it back to turn it in. So, I need, like, um, five of them or whatnot. I think it was five of them anyway. So, there's always quests in here that correspond with the quests that you got of coffee and all the other ones. Um, and if you look, like, if you press Escape... You can click the world here, and you can go to your client orders from this place. And then you can see all the orders that you've collected off different NPCs. Um, so, like, where's coffee at? Uh, coffee there, see? And there's the, there it is there. Deliver Spartan here. I've got three already, so I need f uh, two more. So that's your quest hubs, okay? Um, I'm, I'm trying to, like, go through this pretty quick, because I don't want to make, like, a huge video. Um, y y I think that's where Echo starts here, yeah, yeah, um... Um, your mag, I think. And if you look as well, if you go to escape, you can go to mag. And this is your little pet that you use. And you can give it items. And that levels, levels it up. And as you can see, that's level 57 at the minute. And based on what you give it, depends on what, like, turns out. So, like, if you give it ranged weapons, for example, you'll, you'll level your ranged and your ranged defense and dexterity. If you give it if you give it hand weapons, you'll raise your strike in and etc. So uh, it makes a difference on what you give it. <clears throat> um, I'm not sure if you can reset that later. You probably can no. and give it more um, items. So you go to items there. Uh, that's your weapons. Then you go to uh, units, which is like your armor. Uh, that's armor as well. That's your your body. You have like three sets. You also have three sets there. Um, this is like um, uh, monomates is what you take as like pots, like HP pots and, and other ones like raising people and and other like stats, experience tickets and blah. This is all your um, uh, all your abilities that you get that you need to learn. They go in here and then you click them to learn them. Like you, so I already know that. So, but that's that's how you basically learn them. Um, this is for teams when you're in link shells and guilds or whatever, I, w I would think. I'm not really sure. Uh, this is this is important. This is your class change here, so you can have a main. You do like a, a quest later on, 
that um, lets you um, use a subclass. So basically, if you look at mine at the minute, my main is gunner, but my hunter is um, my off class, and it's actually higher than my main. So I'm actually bringing my main up to 21, then switching back my hunter. I'm just gonna keep doing that, like playing the two. Um, but that's where you do that at anyway. And uh, you set it in so my set. I can just set up like equipment sets there. Learn class skills. This is really important as well. Up here, SP. You'll get them from doing like main story quests and also going out in the field and things and doing certain things. Um, and it's like a skill tree basically. And you just read what's what you think's good. I would surmise. And I mean, there's obviously online you can look at different things like that. But um, so that's your gunner. So you just click into what you want to click in, and then it opens up different. Um, like, if you look, I have to go down, all the way down here, to be able to get the zero ranged advance, which boosts me range attack, or me gunner. And the same happens with, like, I, want, I got chain trigger the other day, which is quite cool. Um, and obviously, you can click your hunter as well at the same time, and then see how it changes. Level 21 hunter, I've got no points at the minute, but, like, all these carry over with your main, with your off class, sorry. Um, like, I'm not really sure about, like counters and stuff but like I see I'm not like a hundred percent sure with with the game but I'm just trying to like show show you the game as much as I can um this is you do good quests over here which like are like um portion quests like she has client orders where you have to like deliver certain things for good XP. I'm on random drink Z research at the minute and I need to deliver the blades in a Bahita tail Bahita tail and that's from a boss inside one of the one of the um one of the quest hubs, one of the dungeon hub things, which I'll show you. Um, you can also purchase things off this NPC here, which like it boosts your stats for a certain amount of time. Um, to do your main story quests, you have to go up here. Um, and. Is it this one? To the bridge. I think this is your main story. Yeah, this is your main story. So you get all your main story quests here. Which you can also see if you look at um you can go to client orders, but that storyboard is your is your is your missions. And then it shows you like where you have to go next. So like you start way back here, um, and you, it also sections off, but the ticks is what you've completed. So you basically like keep on going, and then when you want to do one, see how that unlocks when I've done that sort of thing. So you have to click, oh, actually, no, not that one. Must be, you must have to unlock probably that one. But you left click in there, selected event will be played, and then you click yes, and then you start that. And obviously it takes you through cutscenes and the story and stuff. But I don't really want to get into the story, and also like, before you go in, you've got the shop, the medical terminal, the buy pots and things. Um, yeah, I've got the shop area. Uh, this is the shop. Actually, I should have showed you probably from the... Um, I've got to want a hand in there. Um, blue, obviously, blue. See the blue ones, the signs above people's heads? That's quests that you can pick up. Green is after you've actually completed them. I'll just show you this again, because this was the main lobby, if you remember like, where we went. And um, you come up here, and then press it. Press A, sorry, and then you can use this. And this takes you to the shop area. Uh, basically, that's pets. That is upgrading your items. This is identifying identifying rare items, you'll get them in the inventory and you can take it to her, pay a little bit, Gil, Mehetsa or whatever they call it, um, and she'll unlock it and, and give you like a rare item, um, and you can buy weapons there, like uh, if you look, oh, yeah, buy all kinds of different weapons for your class. Same as when you first ever start out, try and get a little bit um, Gil by just going out in the field, killing things, and then come here. And when you come here, you can basically buy items and you can buy it. Well, it's not this one, but this one. And you can buy all of your um, your abilities and you can learn them. See what I mean? They're all there to learn. For all your different class classes. 
can also click can equip as well in the corner and that only puts on the ones that you can actually use uh, same with armor here you can buy armor if you want to change your character you can click it to see what it looks like when you're wearing it um, Uh, try, right, and then I'm not really sure what that is, but it's some sort of like theme park thing where you can go in and play games and shit, but I've never really done it. Um, if you want to go into a different hub, like if you look around you and you think, oh, it's not many people here, it's, you know, you can go into the green doors and then you can basically see what's full and what's not, and then you can like see. So you want to change to two, you just click it, click yes. And I'll actually swap you to a different hub. You're still on the same server, but it's just different hubs on the different servers. Um, and ship two is really good because all the English players go there. So that was a little bit more... Um, there was more people on it, sorry. And you can actually see there's a few more people just kicking around. Now I'll show you quickly how to do, so like I was saying before, um, I need to do this sub part, so I need two Spartan gear parts, okay, so go here, and select a quest from the list, these quests are, are they're featured quests, okay, uh, they're pretty good for um, items and XP. You can do 16 plus or 28 or whatever, depending on what level you are. I've did, did quests around 10 levels above me level, just, and they, they didn't seem very hard, so. Um, so, and this is Spartan A, so I know that I need two of them parts, so basically I'll go, um, I'll go into 18. And this is like setting up a party to go into there, but you do not really, you know, you can like friends only or whatnot, but you can just leave it open, just click yes. This will connect. And then you're ready to do that, go to that place. So you'll come here. And it's all set up for you to go into there now. <laughs> you can also use, like... When you do missions and stuff, you can actually pick NPCs up and you can use them and take them with you if you want to help you out. I mean, I won't do that on this, but you can. Yeah, what's this? That's your gathering, so that's your crafting. Yeah. And then you have your own sort of... I mean, you don't have to go... Once you've done that, you want to do certain quests as well, you can use this hub here if you want. And just access it, and then you can select your quest there and just go straight in. You don't have to go back into the lobby. Yeah. Um, as I see, I haven't really played it a lot, but like, because <clears throat> I've been learning about the game itself, like, I am so I haven't really been like playing at, on my character like a hell of a lot. I've just been looking around basically, like learning different shit. Uh, so this is just collect quest points by killing certain mobs in the field. Um, um, but I need them spot and ear things as well. So we'll see what happens. You've got like one, yeah, oh, hold on a second. Just kill these because these are a part of me, um, mission. So you can dodge. And then that kicks them up in the air. And also I do some freaky things. Stuff like that. It's crazy. The, um, I love the combat in this game. That's like a slowdown kind of thing. Uh, so these, if you highlight over them, tells you on the top left what they are. So spot any parts here. So that's four or five I've got now. Tells you're on the bottom right as well in your chat log. Completed. There you go, completed. Defeat spot and ear rewards, completed emergency trial. Um, I'm not sure I completed the quest there though. Um, 
I in order, so you go down to coffee. Oh, I did, I completed it. See how it's in green? So I can open me more sub pallets up. And basically, what sub pallets are, or um, basically, uh, if you press escape and go to customize sub pallets, and these are your sub pallets, and you can set skills to them. Basically, they're just like hot bars. You set different skills to, to them. Um, and swap them on the fly as well. You also, you can use up to like, well, you can use as many weapons as you want, but if you, I have mine set to like F keys so I can change them. So basically, that's between machine guns. I have me assault rifle. I don't have anything on three yet because I wanted a sniper rifle. That's twin machine. And you can basically just swap them anytime you feel like it and change the abilities. So like, that's like a rocket launcher kind of thing. Uh, and you hold shift down to go to your second set. So say like um, machine gun at the minute, that's left mouse button. Okay. Sh shift left is that. Same with the middle. Uh, that's the middle. And shift right mouse button is that. And then you've got normal left to gain your focus, your PP, which is on the bottom left. And then you've got the middle, which is just like a jump back, but you can also attack and like jump around out the way of people. And right is um that thing, which jump in and then knock them up in the air. And basically you get that. Uh, so you can uh, equip your weapons sets here. Um, then you've got your armor, change your armor. You look, see how I've got three. You'll have another armors here, and you can highlight over it, and it shows you if you're losing. I think it's blue if it's less, and red if it's a better item. So see, like if I see there, see how it's minus, because if I use that, then it would reduce me stats. If that makes any fucking sense. Um, I'm just flying through things, yes. Um, that's your friends list, your team commands, party commands and stuff. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of things I would like go through. Like character info is really good. Tells you your equipment, what you've got on. Tells you your class info, what levels you've got your classes at, your fort on arts. So that tells you everything you've got for, say I have Twister 4, Nova Strike. That's everything, but you can go separate. So for swords, I have Twister 4, Nova Strike, over in Stone Coincide or... Cruel Throw, Guilty Break, and then for other. Tells you what they are if you highlight. Wired Lancers, Partisans, which is like a pole arm, Twin Daggers, and it tells you what you've got. And you can basically just use them. So like if I wanted to change, say, say, say middle mouse button is like jumping back, isn't it? So if I wanted to like change that, there another thing I would uh, as a customize and uh, um, I see there's a lot of options to use. Uh, it's equipped weapons, isn't it? Yeah. So it's equipped weapons, and then basically, if you remember, that's me machine gun, which I'm using now. That's the first set. So that's left mouse button, right mouse button, middle mouse button. That is shift left mouse, bu mouse button, shift middle, and shift right mouse button. So if I wanted to see a change, that middle one where I was telling you I would left click, and I know it's on weapon action, which is the jump back ability, I can change it to aerial shooting, bullet squall, messiah time, or reverse tap, whichever I I mean, bullet squall, messiah time, reverse tap is there. Um, I'm not sure what aerial shooting is. Twin machine launches in the air with a powerful kick. That's that's on there, isn't it? Yeah. So aerial shooting. And then rank up as well is a thing to watch as well. So you could be out in the field and you'll get like aerial shooting level 3, which is much better. So you have to watch that. But I think it just automatically... Actually, no, I think you still have to use them to upgrade them. It doesn't auto, it's not an automatic thing, I don't think. If anybody like, knows anything about Fantasy Star Online and the correct a lot of things I'm seeing, then we feel free to do so. But I've never seen videos out like this that explain things like this in English. So I thought I would make this video just to try and help 
people out a little bit into the game. I mean, I'm not, I'm not I'm far from a fucking expert in this game, but it's an excellent game. It's, it, it really is, and um, these are popped again. So you can press A on these situations and hold it down to like hear like a little bit of an intro on what you got to do, but um. I mean, this is 60. I've seen some excellent videos of this game where you're like fighting huge bosses. And it's literally insane, like some of the stuff you can do. You can also press Q to target and lock on. See how it's locked on? Enemies are remaining one. I'll just finish this one off because um actually I'll show you um show you a little bit of mute assault rifle. Oh well, I guess that finished that. Also the top right of the minimap, if you look in the dark blue shaded areas, that's what you haven't looked at yet. So basically you can open the map up as you go. The rocket launch is pretty good on this. That there. And then you have this. Yeah, that does a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is. It's, it's pulling us in though. Sure, that was before. It must just be an environmental thing. Oh, hello. Right, so let's try this then. So basically, you use your left mouse button, build up your your power points or whatever the hell they're called. As you can see, I've got like 109 now, so I'm full. And then I can basically press a uh, right mouse button to use a special ability. And it burns me PP, but like, does really good damage. Not really sold on this oh, weapon, to be honest. Also, when you use... Um, when you get your your, your um, mag, which is like your robot arm thing that floats around with you, you can level that up and you get it for a certain distance and you can use a special on it and this is it. This is pretty cool. This is me special on me mag. Watch. Just rapes everything. <laughs> How cool is that? I got a rare drop there as well. I'll pick that rare drop up. Oh. Pick these up. Um, I love how you fire at them in the air. And then jump up. And Yo! <laughs> how cool. Still on 70 of 120. Not sure what that rare drop was as well. After a look, these as well. Like there's a switch somewhere which releases that foot. Oh, look, this could be it. That switch there, maybe. Nope. These are always good to have as well. These uh, boxes. There you go. That's an ability. Uh, Razan level three. 
Let's release these. There's another rare drop. Got another. I think I might. Oops. I think I might uh, have a full inventory, I'm not sure. So 109 gives a look at this. Uh, Razen level 3, I think I've already got there anyway. Completed. Just pick this skill up. Gives a look here. So I level 3, so I'll use that. And I also got. Hmm. A twin machine gun and some other stuff. I'll have to see if they are any better than what I've got. So, equip weapons. So, you're on. So, basically, that's what I'm using because there's a tick in it 315, 19. And if you look at it, it's minus. No good. That gives us an extra plus 10 dex, but I lose 80 ranged attack. And then I go on to that. Which is this, and mm, yeah, it's nothing really worth anything of interest there. <clears throat> so I can just sell that crap later, or I might be able to use some of it on my hunter. I'll have to check. I'll have to switch me class for that later on. Um, so basically, I think I went over like like a lot of stuff. Uh, I think this is the end. That's pulling me in, the bloody thing. Oh! Oh, I've never done that before. Why is it not hitting that bloody box? That's armor. Twin Gatlin guns again, they're no good. Uh, well, I'll just take a portion. I think this will probably finish it on these last two. <coughs> One twenty. So I mean, when you finish these, you don't generally really get anything. If there's a few boxes lying around, you might get them, but that's about it. it when you do the big bosses, you get like a, a like a red thing spawns, and you you click the red thing, and uh, you get loads of items from it. So you get a, a rank based on how well you did as well. So that was an S rank. You got some XP and stuff. But now I can like come back into here, go into the lobby. And I should be able to hand that quest in now to give us extra sub pallets. Also I need to feed me mag, so that's when you know your mag's low. So basically go to your mag, uh, give items. Uh, What is that? Uh, well, I've got two of them, I'll give up one of them. See how it just went to 58 there? Where's that? Where machine gun? Uh, I'll do for now. So, there's the green marker there. So, tart coffee, there it is there, click it, hand that in, I've got 900 XP for that, and we sub pallets now, so 
So I need to do support on a seminar. Receive training from a start here. Okay. So I need support partner training. From a start here. Who the hell's a start here? Well, I mean, you get the gist of, like, how I'm doing this. There, there you go. There's a start here. Oops. That's the wrong one. Yeah, start here. Yeah. Fuel road achievements. There. Private lessons. I'm guessing it'll be one of these that I need to do in order to do that quest. So that's basically how you play the game anyway. You just keep going through the main storyboard. You keep going through your Ox quest board, which is um, uh, world map story, client orders, Ox road as well. You get this. This is pretty good. So it's telling us there. I need to um, in order to do that, I need to comp coffee's client order, free exploration, the desert. So I need to go to coffee. Oh, looks like I've already gotten that one completed. Um, five thousand XP, and I just got seventeen. Still has M three. So that's, there's the, the desert that I need to do as well. So basically, you'll come here and go to there. You go to Ark. So I'll have the desert somewhere. It's not here, obviously. Oh, there, there's a desert. There you go. I need to basically do the desert. That's how you do it, anyway. I just got my level there, so I should. Um, what the hell are these on dinghies? Um, I got my level there, so I should have got a point. So, learn class skills. Mario and Gunner. There's one point. See what I mean? And then you can go on machine gun only for a fixed time dramatically raises gear accumulation in exchange for raising hand gear generation. Chain trigger. I forgot to use my chain trigger in that bloody last thing. Aerial advance increases damage when attacking airborne enemies. I think that's pretty good to have I would say. Mean ranged attack boosters. I'll put a point in there. So you click it. Tells you what where it's going into. Level two, going to level three, range attack plus nine, going to plus fourteen. But yes. And there you go. And that's the point in that. I forgot to bloody use me uh, thing though, which is a shame but whatever. And and that's it really. I mean you can learn it from here yourself. But this is just like a video to, to, to show people because like I say I've never seen many um I mean I don't really think a lot of people well a lot of people know about the game but I don't think a lot of people play it because a lot of it's in Java and they're like they think, Oh good game but like it's oh maybe might think it's a shit game, right? But they might think good game but I don't really want to get through the Japanese of it and, and all that crap but because he is still bits of it in job but other than that I am um, most of it's translated and it is really good so I hope this uh, was a little bit informative for people anyway okay guys good luck